service now is going to be fire. Are you ready? Okay, so it's going to be fire. Get yourself prepared. Uh, there will be some shouting in this service, some prayer. I want you to pray and let your future open up. Let your future open up. You know, and I want somebody to receive power in this service where you prayer will no longer be a burden to you. Can I hear your fire? Amen. Yeah. You you will pray, you will pray with ease. With ease. You will pray and enjoy prayer. You will be looking forward to prayer time. Who is that person here this morning? So I want you to get set right now for empowerment. Empowerment of the Spirit. We started something uh, I call the empowerment of the Spirit and we branched to talking about the benefit of speaking in tongues. When the Spirit is poured on, on, on you, your wilderness become a fruitful field and your fruitful field become what? A forest. Become a forest. Massive result. Places where you used to be one, two, you begin to have massive results. Can I hear amen? Yeah. And that can only happen by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost came, it came with a prayer language. You can't be baptized in the Holy Ghost without speaking in tongues. Number one, we said when you pray in tongues, you construct or reconstruct your life. In case you are not happy with the construction, you can reconstruct it. Every time you pray in tongues, you construct your life. Number two, you build up your life. If your life has been down, you build it up like an edifice. Number three, we said you are emboldened. Boldness come. Things you cannot do. Nobody in your family has done. You receive empowerment of the spirit to do it. Number four, we say you charge up. You're charged, fired up, ready to do wonder. Number five, you get rest and refreshing. This is the rest where he will call those who are weary to have rest. And number six, that's where we stop. You have fellowship with the Holy Ghost. You know the Holy Ghost more because you are speaking his language. You talk in his language. You enjoy kononia, relationship, deep relationship with him. And he begins to treat you differently, give you experiences that others don't have. And you begin to get the deep things of God. Now number seven. Number seven, those who pray more in tongues, they enjoy angelic visitation, angelic ministration. The angels of God minister to you. The reason in the early apostles, they enjoy angelic ministration is because they pray in the spirit. From Acts chapter 2, if you read the book of Acts, you will see angels appearing to them. Angels going to prison to save Peter. Angels coming. In fact, when Peter was delivered from prison and he came back home and the young lady said, oh, Peter is at the door. The people said, you have, saw, you have seen Peter's angel. Because they are so used to angelic visitation. Angelic ministration. We are saying amen from now. You will be enjoying angels ministration. Yeah. One particular days of grace, I thought about the ministration of angels. We're still at the number two. Angels on assignment. They carry files. They give success. They push your case. They put your file under. Angels can put it on top. Angels complete exams for people. Angel pays school fees. Oh, we've seen that before. We've seen that before. Somebody in Maryland, Wise, one of the high concentration center, he said he was going to class on the normal day. And a man met him and started chatting with him. He said, how are you? And they started discussing. And he said, have you paid your school fees? He said, no. He said, follow me. So he took him to the registrar. The man said to the registrar in that icon school, he said, this guy is my brother. Um, don't, don't disturb him about school fees. Don't worry. I will, I will pay on his behalf. And they went to the class. The guy started talking to him. So the angel left. And uh, the guy went back to the registrar. He said, hey, don't worry, they have paid for you. And the brother shared the testimony. That was the last day he saw the man. You know, the man just came to settle the bill and disappear. People who will help you and not take glory. You know, there are people who will pay your school fees. If you don't call them morning and evening, you are in trouble. <laughs> and you must say, good afternoon, sir. Good evening, ma. 
you know, you know, you must press, you must press clothes. You must shine shoe because of the help they have rendered to you. But angels help the guy and never take glory. Angelic ministration. When you pray in tongue, you will be enjoying this ministration. Because there is something called tongues of angels. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1. Angels understand when we pray in the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1. Uh, he said, though I speak in the tongues of men and the tongues of angels. But the emphasis of this scripture is love. And I don't have love. I'm just a noise maker. So there is something called the tongues of angels. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, angels speak signal. You don't understand, but they understand because it's heavenly language. They pick signal. Hebrew chapter 1, 7. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 7. I want to read 7 and 14. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 7. Now he said, and of the angels, he said, he make his angels spirit. They are spirit. And his minister, and what's the minister? They are flames of fire. Verse 14. Are they not ministering spirit? That's the angels. Sent for to minister to those who are heir of salvation. Angels are supposed to minister to us. When we give them instruction in the spirit, they pick the signal and they deliver the things you are talking about. Right now in 30 seconds, give your angels instruction. Give them instruction in the spirit. Give them instruction in the spirit. Are they not ministry spirit? Are they not ministry spirit? Give your angels instruction in the spirit. Angels this week, bring the job. Give them instruction in the spirit. Angel, bring the customers. Angel, touch the places I cannot touch. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Angels don't need key to gain access. Angels don't need password to gain access. They are spirits. They are ministry spirits. Assigned to minister to those who are heir of salvation. If you are a child of God, you should enjoy angelic ministration. And if you want more of this angelic ministration, pray more in tongues. The louder, the stronger, the more you pray in the Holy Ghost, the more angelic ministration you will enjoy. If you want to make mistake, they will guide you not to go where you are going. You want to do something like they just say, hey, live there. And sometimes you will tell yourself, something tells me. A force pushing you. Angelic ministration is for people who pray more in the spirit. You know, it's spirit against spirit. Mystery against mystery. So if we pray more in tongues, we'll be enjoying angelic ministration. You have tried on your own. Things are not working. I want you to separate yourself and pray more in the spirit. Angel, as I go for this assignment, guide my thought. Help me condition my mind. Help me as I go for this meeting. Angel, if I'm about to say error, shut my mouth. And sometimes somebody, you will lose your thought pattern because you are thinking wrongly. And the angel is just, you know, because angels, they can work positive and negative. They can bring confusion. They wanted to go and save Lot. And the people of Sodom were, were, were Sodomite, you know, homosexual. They wanted to sleep even with the angel. And the Bible says angel brought confusion. They became blind. They can't see. The angels of God can work positive and negative. So sometimes things are not working. If you pray more in tongues, angels will go into operation. You can get to interview and, and a serious interview where they are supposed to be asking you technical questions. They will just be joking with you because angel is working through their mind. The next thing you enter, you say, I love your tie. Say, where did you get this from? You know, 
And before you know, he says, Marble, you know. <laughs> hey, that's an offering from you, Mama. So, <laughs> and, and before you know, you begin to say, It's a diversion. And after they spend five minutes with you, they just say, Time is going. Say, okay, 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 you, can, you have the job. <laughs> because your angels are on assignment. One of us here has gone for interview before to work in a bank. She got there and the next thing, somebody just looked at her CV. She saw her be dancing. Banking job, where you are supposed to be asking about uh, Kaba and um, how, to, how to meet your target and all those technical things. You should ask. I don't know if meeting your target is even technical. You just go and look for money. Who do you know and your network and all like that? So instead of asking a technical question about banking related and accounting, she studied accounting and doing ICANN after that time. She just picked the hobby. Say dancing. He said, "Can you dance?" Say ah. And she's in SMC one for. And I said, "Can you dance?" And I said, "Okay." In the it was a panel interview. He said, dance for us. So the lady just had just stared and, you know, showed them. Um, um, <laughs> showed them best. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And the lady danced for them and they gave the job. Nothing technical, according to the testimony she shared. Angels on assignment. When you give your angels instruction, it's just working on your behalf. Fear for everywhere. Can I hear amen? Yeah. Somebody in 30 seconds give them instruction again. Speak heavenly language. Let the angel pick, pick, pick instruction. Let them pick instruction. Let them pick instruction. Let them pick instruction. Ayayabosh. Ayayabosh. Shakata la mara. Etola brakato brakata. Ra brakata la brakata la brata. Etekota la karata. Shalakata la brada, ekota sakra kata, rapota kato la brada, ebra kato la brada ya kato la brada ya, shalakana na na na, shalakana na 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 na, elados, elados, etele kete kete. This week, angel take instruction. This week, angel take instruction. This week, angel take instruction. This week. And they'll take instruction. Palano na ba yana na na ba yana? Shalama na 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 ba yana na na? Rapro ko prada kata. Parada, 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 parada. Shalala ba na 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 mo? Jesus, my name we pray. I remember maybe some seven years ago when I thought about the mysteries of angel in that days of grace. And one of us who used to be here. Pick that message. He said, Pastor, when I got home, I was praying the Holy Ghost, giving my angels instruction. And he used to be a lecturer. He was lecturing people. He did part-time from Lasso. So one of the students got ECV and gave it to the father, who is a big man in the oil sector, the oil industry. And he said, when I was praying, I believe is the angels of God that picked my CV and brought it in focus. Because he had given the CV since, but the man will not do nothing. You know, there are places you get, go to, they will tell you, you will hear from us. You will hear from us. Now, this morning, you need to give your angel instruction. You must hear this week. Now, cut long story short. He said, when I prayed that night, maybe he prayed all night, giving the angel instruction, carry my fire. He said, because pastor, in that message, you say, angel can carry fire. Angel can pick your CV from under and put it on your gas table. And he said, I gave the angels instruction. The week, they called the guy and they gave him a job in Slum BJ. He has been working in Slum BJ since that time. He has gone outside the country for training. In fact, when he got the job, the first thing is that go and get your international passport ready. They sent me on training. Is it to UK or no, no, before Malaysia? First to UK for training Milton Kings. He went to Milton Kings for about three months, then come back to Nigeria, then to Malaysia, then back to Nigeria. Now the boy is just enjoying it, going all up. Because one night he engaged a message like this Give your angels instruction. Somebody, you have an opportunity, 30 seconds again. Give them instruction. 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 
Give them instruction. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? Angel, bring them. Shalabodo. 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 Direct traffic of men and resources. Direct them. Direct them. Direct them. Angels. Direct the traffic of airports. Etola Baraka. Etola Rabaka. Etola Rabaka. Sopro Kotelege. Hallelujah. Say very loud with me. Angels of God. Angels of God. Direct, Direct traffic, traffic of material, of material. And, human and human in my direction. You know, traffic of material things. And human beings that will help me direct their traffic in my direction. Hallelujah. Traffic of customers. Traffic of clients. Traffic of members. You know, sometimes they give me a report about first-timers in this church. And one of the columns in that report is who invited you to Island Church. Some people will put there, nobody invited us. We were just going. And something tells us to enter. It's angel. Go there. Traffic of human and material. Angel pushing them. There are times they don't want to do what they are doing, but the angel said, Go there. This is where you excel in life. So this week, let it be your prayer point. Angels of God direct traffic of human and materials. Direct them in my, in my direction. Some of you who are in business this week, your sales will be amazing. <laughs> Customers will be walking in. Traffic of human and material things. They come in your direction. Can I hear your fire? Amen. So when you pray in tongues, you will enjoy angelic ministration. They will minister to you because the Bible says, are they not ministering spirit? Designated, assigned to minister to those who are heir of salvation. We are children of God. We should not be suffering. The angels of God has a responsibility to minister to us. But they will not go into action until they hear us speak their language. And their language is heavenly tongues. The more you pray in the tongues of angels, they call it the tongues of men and angels. They take instruction from you. They, you don't know what you are saying, but angels know what you are saying. And you say, when you pray in tongues, it is the perfect, purest way of praying. Because sometimes your prayer can be out of envy. Your prayer can be out of situation you are going through, but it's not the perfect will of God for you. Somebody came here and gave testimony that God did this for me. And somebody on his seat is saying, ah, when will my own come? That may not be the perfect will of God for you now. You may even be praying for accommodation and God is saying, I want to give you a house that belongs to you. Your own house, not a rented apartment. So, sometimes we pray and it's not pure. It's not the perfect but when you start praying in tongues, you don't know what you are praying. In your mind, you can be thinking about house and God is saying, no, let me settle you as a person first. Be the man. House will be attracted. Wife will come. Cast will come. Good things of life will come. Can I hear a fire? Amen. Angelic 
administration. Those of you who are in business, you need customers, settle down in the spirit. Shalabadaya. Prikatele kushata. Give me international customers. Angels, bring them from Gusu. Bring them from Ariwa. Bring them from the north. Bring them from the south. And you are praying the Holy Ghost. Shalalala. Kundala. Prikatele bata. You know, as you do that in the spirit, the angels of God go into operation. They go into offices. You submitted your CV and you will hear from us and you have not heard from them. Angel, go now. Whoever is sitting on it, I break the whole of nepotism. I break the whole of politics in that organization. Somebody is sitting on your, on your promotion. Angels of God, touch him. Give him the best night right now. And you see, angels work in mysterious way. They can, the man who is sitting on your promotion, angel can use the wife to slap him and say, go and do the right thing. And when I say slap him, it may not be physical. It's, they are just talking. And he talk about this subordinate who you won't let go. And the wife is talking sense to him and say, when you go to the office tomorrow, angels of God can do amazing things. Engage them. Maybe there's somebody here at him that you have never given your angel command before. Somebody say, ah, Angeli. I can tell Angeli to do something. Yes. We just read in, in Hebrew, they are ministry spirits. Hebrew 1.14, to minister to those who are heirs of salvation. You are an angel, you are not in the same class. God has made you a little lower than Elohim, not the angels. Are they not ministry spirits? Send forth, this is the assignment, to minister to those who are born again, simply put. If you're a child of God, heirs of salvation, you have a right to tell angel, go and do this. Angels are with us. As you are seated, your angel came to church with you. But all their life, they have been waiting. But you have been struggling. Because you have never given them instruction. When you eat in a good restaurant, your waiter is just there standing. If you do like this, you say, sir, what do you need? I need water. Room temperature or cold. You tell him what you need. He goes there. He brings it there for you. But if you have been eating and you are coughing and you will not raise your hand, he will be looking at you. He will just be looking at you. And you need water. But you won't tell this waiter, give me water. He will wait. His name is waiter. It's to wait. It's waiting on you to serve you. But you are not giving command until you tell this waiter, I need juice. I need this. The waiter is just waiting. And sometimes the waiter is so kind and say, is there anything I can do for you, sir? Are you alright, sir? And if you are there, you are still looking like Luke Moss. Anything to do for me? There are people, angel have brought their wife for their struggle. Angel and brought children inside church. They didn't come to church that day. Are they not ministering spirit sent forth to minister to those who are heirs of salvation? You are a child of God. They are to minister to you. There is nothing you need. You tell angel that they cannot bring. If you give instruction, they go and look for it. Where things? I want testimony this week. The things you have been asking and it has not happened. I want you 30 seconds now give them instruction. Give them instruction in the spirit. Instruction in the Holy Ghost. Instruction in the Holy Ghost. Instruction in the Holy Ghost. Angel move by fire. Angels make it happen. Angel make it happen. Reco para para kata. Iga la da 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 ya da da. Jesus, my name, we pray. Number eight, benefit of speaking in tongues. When you are speaking in tongue, when you speak in tongue, you are filled with the spirit of wisdom and spiritual understanding. Wisdom and spiritual understanding. John 14, verse 16. A student, you need this. A businessman, you need it. You need spiritual understanding. John 14, verse 16. 
John 14, 16. And we pray the Father. He will give you Allos Paracletos. Another comforter. Just like me. A replica of me. And he will abide for you with you for how long? The Holy Ghost comes during recharge and is gone back to heaven. For how long, sir? Verse 26. He said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, in case you have a definition problem, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you how many things and bring to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you. The Holy Ghost is a spirit of revelation. He gives wisdom. Anything you have read as a student, the Holy Ghost can make you remember. He will bring to your remembrance all I said to you. The Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my, he will teach you all things. You can get to a point where things that you have never been taught, and you know it. He said, Pastor, how will I know it? By the spirit of knowing. 1 John 2.20 says so. 1 John 2.20, he said you have received, 1 John 2.20, you have received an unction from the Holy One and you know how many things? How many things? You know all things. By reason of the anointing you have received. You know all things. When this unction come upon you and you pray in tongues, knowledge will increase. There is a knowledge that is more than your Harvard knowledge. More than your accountant knowledge. More than your engineer knowledge. Ephesians chapter 3, 18. From verse 18, he said, so that we can comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. And verse 19, my emphasis is looking for the love of God. And look at it here now. He said, and to know to what know is very deep. You can't read this and not have some impact in your spirit. To know the love of Christ, very deep. That's why he said, I want to know the depth, the length, the height, the width of it. To know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge. Two kinds of knowledge there. There is one knowledge by the spirit of knowing that you know. You know that you know. Very deep. Massive. He said, but it is more than knowledge. The other knowledge is earthly knowledge. The one you learn in school. Scientific knowledge. And he says, if this knowledge come to you, he said, that you may be filled with all the fullness. This is the headquarter of God. You, I want you to be filled with the fullness of God. Let heaven resident on the inside of you be filled with the fullness of God. He said, but when this fullness comes, when this power of the Holy Ghost comes, it gives you a revelational knowledge, experiential knowledge, knowledge of God that gives you insight into reality. When people are arguing, when people are lying to you, you know where they are coming from. He said that you may know the love of Christ which surpasses earthly knowledge. More than human being knowledge, scientific knowledge. And that is the kind of thing you encounter when you pray in tongues. When you pray in tongues, you have insight into reality. People are talking to you, but you have gone ahead. You are planning something in the future. You have deep insight. The Holy Spirit is ministering. Sometimes I'm in the service here, and I am thinking about June 2021. Insight. I just have deep insight. Sometimes you are in my office, and I'm like that, my former chairman, I'm doing like this. And I'm praying the Holy Ghost. I just want insight. When you finish all the things you are saying, the Holy Ghost just give me one word into the things. And sometimes I take you away from what you are talking because of the insight. Because what you are talking is based on your emotion. You are just moved. Pastor, I have challenge. This is my work. I want to do this. I want to do that. I'm not married. And God is saying this person in front of you. His problem is not what you say. His problem is deeper than that. You know, we're talking about mystery against mystery. Sometimes the enemy, the enemy is a strategist. He brings something as a camouflage, but the real thing is not exposing to you. But when you pray in tongues, you have insight. You have deep wisdom and spiritual knowledge. It's more than earthly knowledge. Somebody, that's what you need. You need deep spiritual knowledge. That's what will make you on top in life. 
and you can call the church. You'll be like Daniel. When they needed somebody who could interpret a dream that was not told, they didn't tell them the dream. But somebody said, I know one guy. He's an Hebrew guy. He said, light is on the inside of him. There is nothing. One of the things they said about Daniel is that he can dissolve doubt. He has the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy God. In fact, when Nebuchadnezzar said, I have a dream. But the dream, I cannot remember. And he told all the astrologers and all the magicians. They had to tell him, he said, this kind of problem you have. It is only somebody that the spirit of the Holy God is inside him that can interpret it. Those of us who are your magician, you know, even we, we need help. We can't do what you are doing. We can't give you a solution to your problem. He said, but if you can find somebody in whom the spirit of the Holy God is on the inside of him, then he will be able to tell you your dream and the interpretation thereof. And somebody say, ah, I have found one Hebrew child. The spirit of light is inside of him. I want your amen to show it. Let light enter your spirit. It's an impartation right now. Now, some of the who is in short supply of knowledge, of wisdom, let the spirit of light be fire to your spirit. Pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. 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 Reko parata, sokata, rapo katana toda, beyala, shalo pereke do, yela kota ya banga katora maya, setola. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. No longer will you talk, and somebody will said, mm. no, nope, somebody has not talked. When you talk, they know insight. In fact, from now, when you talk. They should be looking at your size and the thing coming out of your mouth. Where have you been? What have you been reading? It is called the spirit of the Holy God. It's on the inside of you. When you pray more in tongue, knowledge is just fired. People are wondering. We have never had anybody speak like this. Where is it coming from? It is inspired by the Holy Ghost. Fire on the... Before you go for a meeting, Holy Ghost has given you revelation of how the meeting will go. So when you go there, you are just calm, cool, and collected. He tells you the end before the meeting starts. Praise the Lord. Amen. One of the oriki of God in Yorubani. Obarinu Lode Olu You have not said it, but he knows you. The God who sees you, extray you. Olu He reads your mind. He, he dissects everything. And you serve this God. The spirit of the Holy God is on the inside of you. So when we pray in the Holy Ghost, we are filled with the spirit of wisdom and spiritual understanding. Which surpasses earthly understanding. Number nine. When we pray in tongues, we will have amazing result and testimony. Please pray in tongues. Pray more in tongues. Separate yourself. Look for time. Amazing result and testimony. I told you before, praying in tongues is the highest and purest way to pray. Jude verse 20 says so. Building up yourself on your most holy faith is the most is the prayer that is devoid of doubt. When you are praying in tongues, there is no doubt. Pure, strong. Pray in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, you get a result. You get testimony. Churches where people pray in tongues, they have testimony. Regular testimony. Because it's mystery against mystery. Christians who pray in tongues, they will not have a better last year. COVID or no COVID, the part of the jaws is like a shining light. But please, settle down and pray in tongues. Amazing result and testimony. You can't phantom. People want to say, ah, we don't know where it's going to come from. The more they move close, the more they get confused. Because you are just a surprise. Because you talk to God, mystery regularly. Either pray in an unknown tongue, speak to God, albeit in the spirit, he speaks mystery. You are telling God mystery. While we are praying here, maybe somebody, you are settling the issue of 2022 in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and now we are in 2020. For you, God is saying 2020 is settled. 21 is settled. 2020 starts settling it. And 
maybe if you allow that person pray in English, what he will be praying about is God. Where is the food for this night going to come from? And God in the spirit is talking about destiny two years to come. He's talking about the guy who is a fake who is going to propose to you in two years. And while you are praying the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is giving that guy a slap. Don't come near her. She's too sanctified for you. Move away. And that person just enjoy a life of resort. He doesn't know he's the praying the Holy Ghost. The more you pray in the Holy Ghost, you get amazing result and testimony. Pray in tongue for 30 seconds now. Maximum result. Maximum result. Maximum result. Things working for you. Things working for you. Maximum. Maximum. Amazing result. Shalalo. Sakra kopara. Ete ato ata yata. Melalalosh. In Jesus, my name we pray. Now, I want you to double up. My expectation is somebody we really fired up in the spirit. Number 10, the last one, then we start praying. The miracles all over this place in the name of Jesus. Number 10, when you pray more in tongues, you will enjoy. Now, this number 10, let me recouch it in another way. Your spiritual capacity will be enhanced. Praying in tongues enhance your spiritual capacity. In brackets put there, you will grow up spiritually. Praying in tongues is the food of the spirit man. The more you pray in the spirit, your capacity for spiritual things. And you know, uh, this point I have an issue. As a Christian, you are not supposed to be down. Life is not supposed to be frustrating. Romans 5.17 says, those who have received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, Romans 5.17, they are supposed to reign by one man, Jesus. If you are born again, you are born to reign. Born to rule. Revelation 5.10. Revelation 5.10. He has made us kings. has made us kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. How come Christians who are supposed to reign are now suffering? Why? Capacity. Capacity is low. Your container will determine the content. If you go to the bottling company with 550 CL, they will fill it 50 CL and cook it. If you go with 75 CL, they will put it there, they will cook it. If you go with one liter, they will feel it. Your container will determine your content. It is your capacity that determines what you carry. If your capacity is low, then that's what you carry. But when you pray in the spirit, your spiritual capacity is enhanced. You are loaded. You are increasing capacity. Lord, I have capacity for more. You know when we start praying now, you will see people who are hungry. You will see people who are not hungry. You see people who want more. We just want more of God. We want spiritual insight. We want depth. We want depth. And you see people who are just casual about it. Please, Pastor, it's time. We have to go. Yes, yes, Pastor. It's 12 o'clock. We have to close this service. Yeah, I know it's 12 o'clock. And we have to close this service. But you are not living here until your capacity is enhanced. Because your capacity determines your content. Determines how you end the year. Determine what you carry. Psalm 66, verse 3. It says, Through the greatness of your power shall your enemy, Psalm 66, 3, shall your enemy, they, they come themselves to say, We submit to you. Your capacity determines how they surrender. If capacity is low, the enemy will be in charge. There are people who sleep and the enemy come to press them down. And in their sleep, they are shouting Jesus. Even G, J, they cannot shout. G, 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 you be like, G, 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 you know. And uh, you, the people around, they are saying, what is happening to, in fact, when the man finally escaped, he will not be breathing heavily. Because capacity is low. The enemy is in charge. He said, but through the greatness of your power, shall your enemy, when a lion is sleeping, whether he's sleeping or he's awake, he's a lion. When a lion is sleeping, do you go near and say, Hey, lion, sleeping, lion, sleeping. Oh, you press a lion down. 
when he's sleeping. He says, lion, now you are sleeping. I, I kill you. If the lion by mistake, you know what they call Jangpa? <laughs> if the lion just do like this, that person is gone. 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 Praise the Lord. Through the greatness, your capacity determines what you command. Your capacity determines how you rule in life. In this church right now, we are being powered by 110. Can I see the different capacity level of, of generator we have? So now, this generator is less than 1 kVA, but let's say, say 1 kVA. It's capacity. This generator cannot power this all. Nothing. It cannot power anything in, in this place. It cannot power the keyboard. It cannot power anything. We have a 7 kVA who is a petrol generator outside. This one can only power light and fan and the office when we are not doing church. It can not power this off of uh, auditorium. Then we have a 65 kVA. In fact, when we used to use this 65 kVA and we operate at maximum capacity, children church overflow. In the service, you will just see everything. We just go. Then we start praying. The devil will buy into you. Ah, this service will go no. Ah, no, 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 no. It's the work of the devil. One day I told our pastor, I said, there's no devil. There's no devil. Let's do a power audit. So we called the GMG people who supplied. They audited. And they said this generator is small for our capacity. We have outgrown this power level. Then we went to 110 kVA. Now, this is what is powering this place now and all the overflow. This one, we have not even maximized it. This particular one, it has more power than what we are currently using. I think we are close to about 100 in capacity of usage, but this is 110. So it means if we have more AC, more equipment, then we exceed this. And before you know it, you begin to see disruption. Because this equipment will be complaining. I don't have the power of what you, the load you are putting on me. Have you ever overloaded your better past my neighbor? You'll be hearing... Because you, you, have put, you have put AC on one KVA. This is how the life of many is right now. What they are carrying in life is below the capacity. The fire on the inside cannot carry the problem of life. So they go for interview, they say, You will hear from us because power, there's no fire on the inside of you. Your capacity will determine how you will end here. We determine your content. Now, you have two minutes this time around. Open fire now. Open fire now. Increase your capacity. Increase your capacity. Increase your capacity. Lord, I'm ready for more. Hey, say I am with the 
because of living water. Say let the river flow. Let the river flow now. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. We declare the channels of my spirit. As I am with the Father. We say no more is no limit. Let the call on soothing. Olebo shakatala, rekote lebarata la barata, verako pasata, ekato la barata, ekote la barata, ekote la barata. Yakoba shakatala, he prakata ya manada, he kotala ba yagata, he rapakata yada, sikata. Hallelujah. But brother, you know something. Your capacity determines what you command. Stop blaming 2020. It is your capacity. There is no problem with this year. It's your capacity. There's no problem with your organization. It is your capacity. There's no problem with your family. It's your capacity. Your capacity determines what you command. When you increase your capacity, then your enemies, your word, 2020, they submit themselves unto you. Now listen to this. Listen to this. 1 Corinthians 15, 41 says, there's one glory of the sun. Another glory of the moon. Another glory of the star. He said, even among stars, they differ in glory. One glory of the sun. You can't compare the glory of the sun with the glory of the moon. In fact, the, the Bible says the moon has no glory of itself. It only correctly aligns itself with the glory of the sun. So when you see moonlight, it's because the sun is shining somewhere. The moon has no glory of itself. So there is a glory of the sun. A glory of the moon, a glory of the star. Power has level. Capacity, like we have just seen, has level. I need to aim for more. I need to fast more. I need to pray more. I need to do more in the Holy Ghost. If I'm going to attain that capacity, power has level. And you listen to me. Power is the real need of man. People join a court team because they are looking for power. People are going to one pastor, one prophet to pray for them because they believe that pastor has a power they don't have. Today, I am calling this church, come up either. Come to a place where your capacity is strengthened. And I'm giving you the key. The key is praying in tongues. The louder, the stronger, the more you pray in the Holy Ghost, the stronger you become. You grow up spiritually. You command the things of the Spirit. You command the things of the Spirit. You are no longer weak. You are no longer weak. Let your power flow. In this place. Let your healing come. Hey. In this place. Hey. I go for say someone. Yes. Let your presence show. In this place. Yes. Anointing. Anointing. Follow me. In this place. Let your presence show. In this place. In this place. Just like the days when power was by the sea. Your power remains the same. Yes. Yes, in the name of Let your power show, Lord. Let your power show.
Hallelujah. Somebody pray right now. You have dwelt long enough on this mountain. It's time for a change. It's time for you to move forward. Move forward, say the Spirit of the Lord. Make progress, say the Spirit of the Lord. Get results, say the Spirit of the Lord. You have dwelt long enough. You have Lord dwelt long enough on this mountain. You have stayed long enough at that level. Let's move forward. It's time to move forward. Island Church, it's time to move forward. It's time to make progress. Ekota lavadada, erakata, shalalalalalada, ekoto sada, ekata lavadada, ora pakata la, etala baba baba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Deuteronomy chapter one verse six. Get ready, this is your miracle service. Deuteronomy chapter one verse six. You have dwelt long enough. And the Lord appeared on Ori saying, you have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Somebody saying, Amen. There will be a change. Amen. You have stayed long enough at this customer level. Stay long enough at this turnover level. Stay long enough at this profiting level. It's time for a change. Verse 11. Verse 11. The same chapter, determine 1, 11. In fact, read 6 to 11 when you get home. But verse 11. He said, the Lord God of your father, it will make Island Church, and those of you saying amen, it will make you a thousand times your present state. Yeah. And bless you as he has promised. The Lord will make you a thousand times. So please look at your current earning, your current turnover, your current salary. Multiply it by 1,000. That's what God is promising. Oh, Pastor. Are you in Nigeria at all? Not just Nigeria. Do you know what the economy of the world is saying? My God, determine 111 shall make you a thousand times your present state. We say in Amen. He will bless you as he has promised you. Every promise of God in your life is coming right now. I want you to shout louder than anybody in this or shout, I receive it. Hear what the Holy Ghost told me. Holy Ghost says, it's time for a lifting. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost, he said, put this in, in bracket because he dictated this and I was writing. He said, a lifting means huge lift. Yeah. Somebody, you are going to take a gigantic lift. Yeah. My father in the Lord, David Oyedeko, call it quantum leap. Get ready. In this year 2020, you are going to take a quantum leap. You are going to take a giant slide. In the name of Jesus. Somebody once said, every step of a giant is a long jump. When you are doing um, exercise with a giant, the moment you take one step, you, you will be jumping. Every step of a giant is a long jump. From today, those of you in this miracle service, you begin to take giant slide. Right now, by the anointing in this place, and I want you to pray in tongues right now, I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. I command whatever is disturbing your blood to get out. Whatever is disturbing your system to get out. Pray in tongues right now. Whatever is disturbing your eyes to get out. Whatever is disturbing your back to get out. Whatever is disturbing your neck to get out. Spirit of infirmity, you cannot stay. You cannot stay in this house. Whatever is disturbing your brain to get out. Without oppression, I declare that your mind will restore. I declare that your brain will restore. I command whatever is disturbing your stomach to get out. I command whatever is disturbing your head to get out. Satan, you cannot stay. You can't stay in this body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Spirit of infirmity, you can't stay. In the name of Jesus. So anybody sick here, by this anointing, be healed in your body. 
You see yourself dying repeatedly. I rebuke you, spirit of death. Infirmity, your time is up. Get out of this body. Untimely death, leave this family alone. I declare to this congregation, you will not bury anyone. 2020 and beyond, no member of your family will die. Let your amen be seven times altered. You will not bury your husband. You will not bury your wife. You will not bury your parents. You will not bury your brothers. You will not bury your sisters. Island church, nobody here will die. Everyone saying amen. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. No evil will befall you. I declare it is well with you. It's well with all that concerns you. This week will be your best week ever. Say amen seven times utter. Miracle job. Miracle customers. Miracle contracts. Possibility everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus. Everything you lay your hand upon this week will prosper. Hear it. Don't see the Lord. Your mockers will announce your testimony. In the name of Jesus.